Good morning. It's Sunday. You know what that means. Welcome along to the next playthrough. We're going to do on Trains in World 2. And we're going to do the Nordvaka Dresden. I have no idea how you pronounce that. I know you pronounce Dresden, but I don't know how you pronounce the other word. And we're going to do the very first one on the list for scenarios. It is the Pishten Pishten that that word predicament. Yeah. It's not going to be a, a pretty one this one unfortunately. It's going to be really bad weather. You're going to find out why in uh, just a little bit, folks. Yeah, there there are um, there are two versions. That's what um, that's what we're looking at. But uh, we're only concentrated on the one version. As we welcome everyone to the miserable depths of suburban Dresden. Say hello, there's a uh, there's our unit. One four six two one one dash That's zero. That's what I voted by unit. I I knew that. Here, here comes Sheldon, everybody. Mr. Hypercritical. Hi. <laughs> All he says is hi. Uh, I suppose it's now that no, we're not doing it just yet. We're not doing it uh, all just yet. Yes, welcome to the. Um, now I've got to pronounce this right. The Farkahera Dresden, which runs uh, from Dresden to Riza. Bullshit. What? Nothing. You got anything you want to share with YouTube? You probably butchered it. I, I probably did butchered it. Yeah, that's. Uh... Well, you have a go at pronouncing it, Mister. Brilliant on German pronunciations. This is the person who cannot even get say Cologne right for fuck's sake. Cologne. Nor can he say mute Munchen right. Munchen. You can bet he can't say kadan kadan kadan. I can't say that without a straight face. Yeah, you can't say that without a straight face, can you? Okay. So, um. So it's like you want to say it, but it's like you start laughing before you say it. Exactly, you want to say it, but uh, you can't. Uh, you can't say it with a straight face. Now, this route does have problems. Still, we are waiting for the fix as we get uh, underway. The, one of the main problems is actually with this loco. Uh, here, here comes another problem. Yeah. Can you see the other problem? Star. The lighting on this route is god awful, and I mean god awful. We, you, you can see all the lights around us, right? Yeah. But look at that! We plunge straight into darkness. They were trying some more realistic. They were trying something, and they they went too far. They need to tone it down a bit. They they do need to uh, need to tone it down a bit. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But other than that, I mean, it's a it's a cracking route because this route. I saw a glitch there when it passed. Uh, you may have done because this was recorded pre. Yeah. What were you looking? Oh, I see. I see. As you're passing the stanchions, yeah. the locos. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, this this route was done pre. Um, this recording anyway was done pre patch for the uh, the Dresden route. So, any mess ups you see in this one, they've been fixed, maybe? They haven't all been fixed, but they're, they're on the way to being fixed, uh, I would say. It's like, uh, I mean, look at that in the ooh. tunnel. That, that's just. I think what they did here, they went wrong with the weather. Don't get me wrong, it's great weather Yeah. to have in this part of Dresden. But, uh, no, just I think they overkilled the weather. They, they overkilled it for, for me. It's one of the reasons why um, West Cornwall Local went back to uh, the. I was about to mention that. Because uh, this this wasn't uh, perfected, as uh, we would say. Because they're after perfected routes now. They are, they're after uh, pretty uh, perfected routes. So, yes, we're going. Um, I think it's just because of the embarrassment they had with this rush out pack. I think it was. Don't, do not get me wrong, the three routes they chose, the Boston Sprinter, the uh, the Dresden route here, and the, the Brighton Main Line, three of the best routes you could find, but uh, it all went, it all went south, 
and uh, south of the River Thames. It went south of the River Thames, <laughs> or the River Rhine. Yeah. Don't forget uh, the Rhine. Now, one um, one thing I will also say. Yes, this was done pre-patch. Uh, because the patch that came into this route brought in uh, a branch line. I forget uh, the name of the branch line uh, that it was now. Well, they forgot to add a branch they line. They forgot to uh, add a branch line, but uh, they did say as soon as it came in, it would come in as a patch. So I think with the branch line patch, no Starios down that uh, branch line, unfortunately. So why is it bringing in there when there's no Starios? Mainly for. Um, uh, route uh, purposes, uh, I would say, but um, it's a shame because there is a, some absolutely cracking views down that branch line. Can you do it on a timetable? Yes, you can do it on a timetable, but you can't do it as a scenario, which, like I said, is a shame. But this route also came out with the biggest patch of locos, the biggest group of locos you'll ever yeah. find. Because it came out with this loco, the 146. It also came with a 185 variant, a 363 variant. Uh, there was a unit in here that it also came with. I can't remember which one. It was either the 422 or the 425. Uh, and then there was another route loco that it came with. I think it was the 143. Baby, I think I saw 143 at the start. There you go. So it really did come in, and plus, with the announcement now that the next German route actually goes the other way from Dresden, and it goes to Schmitz, and they're bringing now that unit. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, the Class Six One Two. When I saw that number first, I thought, "Hello, we got the diesel ice here." No, we got a turbo star. We got a turbo. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, because they're Class 6, these are diesels. Anything uh, Class 6 uh, in Deutschland is a diesel. Unlike uh, Class 6 over here in the UK, which uh, generally signifies freight or um, something that uh, they're testing. Yes. For example, that uh, Class 614 that's uh, currently in uh, Scotland. Bonus, isn't it? Yes, yes. Bonus. Bonus. I wonder what the class 614 is, just go on the Capcart circle and you see the 314, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. It's a hydrogen version of that. Which, uh, i got to admit, looks uh, a bit, uh, a bit meh, shall we, uh, shall we say, it upset. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the disclaimer with Dresden. I'm, I realise, now look at it now, it, it looks god awful. Yeah, overkill. Overkill, but uh, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully the patch uh, will get it all sorted. Um, I know that there's, there's a little light for you, but only as, uh, as the train passes. Uh, what's that? Yeah, it's another one. No, that had, uh, that had a headboard on it. Yeah, that had a headboard. So that, I'm trying to think which one uh, had the headboard on top. Oh, what a. No, it'd be the other um, unit uh, that was around here. Was it, um, 142? Maybe, can't, maybe, I can't remember uh, yeah, that either. Uh, but uh, we're coming up to our first station, Radbuel Ost. I hope I pronounced that right. My, uh, Ost is East. Ost is East. Um, yeah, Ost is East. West is West. Sud is south, and I think Nord is uh, north. I think it's Nord. Can't, uh, That's in Belgium, it's Nord. Uh, in Belgium, it's uh, Nord. I, I think it's the same with Belgium because Sud is Sud in Belgium in uh, French. So I, I think it's the same with um, with German. I'm not sure what East is uh, or West in uh, French is. Mind you, the German one has one O in Nord, and the French version has two O's. Yeah. So it could be uh, it could be that. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at green signal. Good. That's uh, that's all good. All good, all tidy, as uh, we would say. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 
bit slow though, if it's just you arriving in I think it's States. because we're arriving, we're coming up uh, quickly to Red Bull uh, Ost. So uh, we're coming into uh, the station. Yeah, what has, um, what has happened with this route is, uh, this scenario today, we've um, had a breakdown, an issue um, a little further up the line. So to get us through to Dresden, they're having to take us through a freight yard. Very interesting. It will be very interesting. Only because I bet there's nothing there. I bet you any money there's nothing there. But uh, here's our uh, here's our first station, Radbull Ost. And I think uh, as we pull up, this might be the perfect chance, you know. Ten minutes into the video, it's time yeah. for time for you to uh, do what your contractor. Oh god, my god, I've had a stroke saying that word. Contractually obligated to do. As we pull up here at the station, only a few seconds late. Very Thank nicely, you. though. Very nicely, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. The brakes on this thing uh, are not good. Looks not... like a good location, is it? It does look like a good location. There you go, look at that. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, fly through. Yeah, pardon me. So it's time for everyone's favourite subject in the world, Trades with Sheldon. It's back, bitches. So what have we got today? Well, we're just going to talk about this locomotive. Yes, this uh, this 146 uh, right here. The old DBAG Class 146. Which is an electric locomotive built by AD Trads, which is now Bombardier. Yep. Is it Bombardier? Oh, it's still AD Trans. No, it's still uh, it, it's Daimler Benz, so it's Mercedes. <laughs> but there was two versions of this build. There's a Class 145, which is a freight locomotive, but this is a Class 146, which is a passenger locomotive. Because between 2000 and 2001, because these locos were built between 1997 to 2002. Uh huh. A demembered the passenger trays for the hollow shaft final drive place the axle hub drive very technical indeed yes and a high top speed of 160 kilometers an hour 99 miles per hour was produced for the DB Rigo Rigo yeah these locomotives were given the design of the class 146 and an additional 32 all in August 2012 so there we go what, what else do we uh, do we know about them there was 31 passenger versions and 103 fake Version. So there's 103 145s yeah. and 31 146s. Yes. And apparently we only go to Dresden for the 146s. Well, I, I've got to say. Yeah, about the same because we had a 146 from Hanover to. No, we didn't do Hanover. Bremen. We didn't do uh, Hanover. Hamburg. Hamburg, sorry, not Hanover. Yeah, we, uh, we got some in. Uh, Oh, what's that company called? M uh, N T B or M E B or M E B I think. M E B or M B E or something uh, something along those yeah. lines. Yeah. I, I I remember that. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. I'm sure there were one four sixes. You can't find out. I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, the name of the top of my head. Um, was it the uh, was it MCE or I know the head codes for them. And let me uh, let me just alter my uh, needs. Uh. Yeah, Hamburg Station, Hamburg Hauptbahnhof. He'll uh, he'll find out here. Uh, the head codes are MBs. That's. Uh, Oh, there, there. Where? Oh, no, that's uh, U-Barn, sorry. Sorry, that's no, that U-Barn. I, I knew, uh, I knew that. Uh, I, can you go up? Up, 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 up. There, down, down, down. Uh, trade services. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't really help. It doesn't really uh, help here, uh, does it? No, it uh, it doesn't. Wow, what, what a shock! Hamburg Hauptbahnhof doesn't help us. <laughs> Maybe we have to go up. Yeah, 
do that one. What, the, the Vana vehicle? Bremen. So here we go, now we're talking Bremen. Yeah, we've gone off, uh, we've gone off a tangent here, we're now uh, talking about Bremen. He's, uh, he's gonna find yeah. this, uh, he's gonna find this, yeah, because Sagerhorn and Ottersburg are served by them. Did they say anything about the, uh, the train station? He's, uh, he's trying to, uh, yeah. he's trying to look here, bless his, uh, no. bless his socks, no. I bet you went on, um, you know what? Oh, he, he's going to, uh, he's going to call on something else. So we're on the, uh, on the freight line now, on the way to Dresden Mitter. Get it, you son. Yeah, get it, you son. <laughs> That's it. We, we have, um, books for, uh, German, uh, passenger usage. The old fashioned Bob a fucking way. Yes, the old fashioned uh, way. Let's, uh, let's have a look. That doesn't uh, say much there. No. Really, uh, really doesn't say much. But I bet when he. Uh, well, if I go to the 146s in here. Yeah, if you go to the 146s in there. There's 143. It'll, uh, it'll tell you. 145. Here we go. 146. So, uh. Bombardier tracks version passengers DB radio. Uh, if not, were they one four sixes? Is that it? There's a two four six as well, wasn't there? Was there a two four six? Wasn't the yeah? Uh, we're in the uh, freight yard now, so oh yeah. As you can uh, see, there is uh, literally nothing there. I'm trying to think, was it, uh, no, 2-4, two, 2-4 four, uh, two, four wasn't a thing there. We know the company we're looking for, because they were blue and yellow. There you know. And white as well, was it? And white, yeah. Like, do that. There. They were blue and white. You know what I could do? It would, oh no, there is a, there's a passenger train in there. Oh yeah. That's, uh, nice. I wish I saw that. We could have uh, jumped on that. So let, let's um, let's have a have a look here. Well, here we are, right? Here we go. DB Trade Services. DB Trade Services. Lovely. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not DB, is it? No. So these must be independent. These must be independent from somebody. I don't know uh, who they are, but uh, they must—they must be independent from someone. I just uh, haven't a clue who um, who they are. Depot codes. Are these, are these the companies over here? Uh, no, it's not them. That's good. Gonna... It's, it's going to bother us now. It's going to bother me. Well, I'll tell you what, right? I'll tell you what. Um, Look at a part two. Look at there's a part two. Private operators, New Zealand, New Zealand Here we lines. go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Private operators. Who who are you? Who, 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 who? Train operating companies. Here we go. Here we go, right. Um, I bet it's not in here. I bet they're not in here too. That's F. Uh, F H L M. Here we go. No. Ah, is that them? Yes, this is them. Metro Metronom. There. Yeah, Metronom Eisenbahn. Oh, good lord! There's letters that shouldn't be together. <laughs> Eisenbahn Gelgschaft. Gelsels, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's them. Yes. Yeah, that's them. I'm sure they have uh, one four sixes. I'm, I'm fairly sure we found them in the end, folks. The old fashioned way always fucking helps. Exactly. That is where Simon's books helped him out, and not uh, the internet. There you are. Metronom Eisenbahn Gelshaft. 
Nice, there we go. It's a metronome. Yeah. What, four sixes! I knew Two they four had... Sixes diesel version, yeah. I knew they had uh, one four sixes. Ah, they were the 2005 to 2010 built ones. Ah. Later batch. Later batch. So that, there, that answers that question. We've just spent 10 minutes talk, searching for... Searching for locos. Would, would you put piss off? You can run it later. My computer wants to do a, a diagnostic run while I'm saving a video. No. Just no. No. Exactly. There we go. Look, there. There you are. ME5 down to uh, ME5. Uh, they got 18. No, they got oh, no. Uh, 501 to 518. Yeah, they got 501 to 518, then 531 to 537, it looks like. Maybe more. So after wasting all that time, we're stopping at the next station. Yeah, Dresden Mitter, fuck me, my knees. <laughs> Where's Dresden Mitter, fuck me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I sh I've got to get off my knees very quickly. I want to say that in German. Uh, you want to say that in German? I'll say it, I say it in German. Scheiße! <laughs> Do you tell them to the fuck me? Yes. Oh shit, I can't move. <laughs> oh dear me, you're about, you're, you're about to hear a man scream in pain, folks. Either, either scream in pain, <laughs> or he's going to make an ass of himself on you. It would be nice to be on camera right now. Yes, it would be, yes. The only problem is, uh, have you noticed uh, while we're doing this, I am not wearing any pants. <laughs> no, you're wearing pants, but you're not wearing Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We, we are doing this recording naked. But naked. Simon doesn't know how to... Uh, <laughs> unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. <laughs> and then resubscribe. And then re please resubscribe. Oh, dear me, right. <laughs> This is brilliant. I, I, I'm literally. Anyone else ever had that feeling? You've been on your knees for about 20, 20 30 minutes. Um... <laughs> how, can, how can I go with this now? <laughs> well, you need to go to these 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> no comment, sir. Um, but somebody please sympathize with me and help me out here. You've been on your knees doing something. Maybe not sexual, but maybe maybe productive for 20, 30 minutes and your knees just have locked and you cannot move for fuck. <laughs> oh, I nearly bent backwards there. So there, there we go. There's your uh, there's your video for today. We've uh, we've had 10 minutes searching for a loco that uh, apparently did exist and doesn't exist. Uh, being on your knees for 20 and 30 minutes. <laughs> And uh, a route that's so poorly lit you can't hardly see shit. There you and go. A train going through a freight yard. Exactly. A train going through a freight yard. So that, that's your video there, folks. <laughs> uh, and now uh, I'm off to be um, demonetized and booted off YouTube. See you later. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but the thing is, though, we say it's not for kids, so... Exactly. If you're a kid watching this and you're thinking, why are they talking about someone being on their knees for 20 minutes? Why are you watching? <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all of the feeling just came back into my knees at the same time. <laughs> oh, my God. You are this train person. Yes. That will be, uh, what would that be? We're not yeah, going to bother looking. What is that unit? For fuck's sake, that is going to, that set, I should say. Because that, that's going to annoy me to hell. Yeah, Dresden, there we go. That's it, the, 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 the mark of her Dresden. Go away, cookies. Yes, go away, cookies. So, there we go, we got the DB442. Go away advert. Yeah, go away advert. Oh, I don't want to sign up for anything. It's got to be the 143. It's got to be, because the 14... We've got the 146. 
But that's, that looks nothing like it. No. So is there a... Oh, is it the 101? Ah, uh, yes, that might be right. No, that's not the 101. That's a video we're saving. Yeah. Which, which one? Because they've got headboards on there, and that would suggest it may be the 112? It's not the 112, surely. 112 sounds... Right. Oh. Hang on. It's not, surely not the 112. Anyway, we are coming into uh, Dresden Hotbahnhof, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It might be the 112, you know. It's definitely, no. not, it's definitely not the Taurus. No. Definitely, definitely not the Taurus. It's definitely not the 101 either. It's got to be the 112. No. Yeah, it, it, it's not the 101. That, that's going to uh, that's gonna bug us now. There goes a 442 out of Dresden as we arrive into uh, Dresden. It's not the 112 either. Definitely not the 112. It does have a headboard, but it's lower down than... It is. I wonder if we uh, we see one in here. We're coming up to the end of the end of the video anyway. So if you have um, if you have enjoyed this, folks, uh, I hope you have anyway because uh, we we talked about some good stuff today. <laughs> it's definitely not the 143. Yeah, it's definitely not the 143, is it? You know, I did see some 143s. Yeah. There's there! Yeah. What is a 146? Just a different variety. Just a different variant. Look at that. That's a nice shot. That is a nice shot. But uh, that right there. Look That's one thing we haven't been to is Dresden. Well, if we ever do go back to Germany. I mean, obviously it's Eastern uh, Germany. We'd have to um, concentrate on that area. Perhaps get a flight over to Berlin, find somewhere cheap over in that area to do, do I don't know, Berlin, Leipzig, Dresden. Yeah. That whole of uh, um, the region uh, over there. We'll have to try way. flight first. Oh yeah, well, you're only just uh, about to try sailing for the first time, aren't you? You're getting your little dinghy trying to cross the fucking English Channel, trying to get into the Isle of Wight illegally. Yeah, if Simon's not back for the Long Island Railroad next week, you know why. He's uh, He's been caught by other white customs. If you hear a loud, MY ASS! <laughs> that's also him. Um, 25 uh, likes on the video, guys. Uh, get subscribed for more. Like I said, Long Island Railroad is next week, unless the West Cornwall local finally pulls its finger out of its butt and comes out. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, all that leaves me to say is uh, to thank you all again for watching and... Uh, Hope As it was entertaining. Hope it was entertaining. He gets the last word, contractually obligated. Wunderbar. Wunder ah, yes, a wunderbar. Wunderbar.